After installing MaxQDA 10 on your computer, you'll see an icon on your desktop. It will look like this. To open MaxQDA then, simply double click on this icon. The first window that you'll see gives you several options. The first is to enter a username. This is important because MaxQDA keeps track of what each logged in user has done in a project. If you're working in a team then, it's very easy later to see who created a certain code or who did different actions. If I already have my name in here, I can just go to the drop-down menu and select it from the list. I can also choose to delete usernames, or if I want to create a new one, I simply highlight and type in the new name. The next option is to either create and open a new project or open an existing project. You can also see a list of recently opened projects here at the bottom. So if I wanted to open up one of them, I could simply click on it and then choose OK. In this case, I want to create and open a new project, so I'll click on that option and choose OK. I then get a standard Windows dialog box where I can go through and find the folder where I want to save this new file. Once I get to that folder, I can give it a name. Maybe in this case we would just call it New Project. When I click Save, the project is created saved in that location, and you can see in the top left the exact path and name of this new project. You'll notice there are not a lot of things in your current Windows structure. That's because we haven't imported any documents yet or started our analysis. That all will be covered in the next tutorial.